Do a demo or a sample. We're using our XPS 100% clear epoxy. We're working with batch number 13703. So we've got a fresh case. We've got our two containers of A and 1B. I'm going to go ahead and when I open my containers is give them a stir. Make sure that everything is up in suspension. So I'm going to use just a clean paint stick. Stir up my A. All right, we got my next A, stir that one up. Very good. As always, a fresh clean stick for B. Get that mixed. Okay, we're gonna be using a polyaspartic white pigment. Now this is epoxy that we're using as the liquid, but we're gonna actually put a polyaspartic pigment in it. It is also from the same lot, 12789, both containers, 12789. We're gonna open those up and we're gonna stir those with a fresh stick. These you'll notice are quite thick, so they do need a good stir. Wanna get all that material incorporated in there. This is good for everything that you do. Just mix up your products really well before you start a project. Okay, so pretty thick, quite paste-like. And we'll go ahead and open up the second. <clears throat> and you can see the difference. There's a little bit of yellow. That might be some of the chemicals themselves, the gels. Since these are the same white pigments, I'm gonna use the same stick. And I'm gonna just gently stir that in there, carefully. Always wanna try and get these products at room temperature make mixing them a lot easier application will be much better mix from the bottom up okay so at this point i think we're good to go what we're going to do is we're going to put our two a components into a fresh clean bucket <clears throat> so we'll do that we'll get our mix going I'm using my A stick again. I have that separated here, if you notice, behind my A bucket. So I will pour this in, scrape out my container, make sure I get all my material out. And one last time, you'll see how much material really comes out of that, quite a bit. We'll go ahead to my second container of A. Pour that right in there. Lots of extra material hanging in that bucket, so make sure you scrape it out so our ratio is correct. Okay, at this point, we'll move those two buckets and those two lids. Now, I would go ahead and put in my pigment right into my A. So we'll, let's start with this one. And we'll mix this. Again, this is polyaspartic pigment that we're putting into our epoxy liquid. All right, you want to get this one now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put our second container. For each A, we put a separate pigment. So we got two pigments. Again, this is polyaspartic pigment. We're putting this into an epoxy. Okay, once I've got all my material out, I could go ahead and start stirring. Now, I'm going to actually get rid of that stick. And we're gonna start with a fresh stick here. And I'm gonna pre-mix my A and my pigment together. Get that up into suspension. And it's mixing nicely. It looks very even, consistent. It's very thin. There's no bubbles. Nothing happening that we see. Scrape the sides. There's no mixing time for this. It's just to get it fully incorporated.
So I would say at this point we have it thoroughly mixed. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of my containers. So I have a, just a clean working area. So we'll toss that in the garbage. Yep, we'll toss this. Just want to make sure everybody understands we're using a polyaspartic white pigment. We have the same batch number on both pigment containers, one, two, seven, eight, nine. We're going to toss away our garbage and then we'll get started with the application. Okay, so at this point, we're going to take our B, we're going to take our timer. I'm going to mix, whoops, I'm going to set my timer. I'm going to go ahead and mix the B into the A for three minutes. We're mixing by hand. This is the preferred method, minimize bubbles in our finish. So you're going to hit start for me whenever you're ready. And here we go. So we're mixing this nicely. If you take a look right at that liquid, this is really thin liquid. I'm going to take my bee stick. I'm going to scrape out my bee container. I'm going to go ahead, empty out my container. And we're going to go ahead and you'll see guys, we've got 27 seconds here and I'm mixing this by hand for a total of three minutes. I got a nice liquid. It looks all very nice and thin. I would expect to see this. You can see the consistency is very thin. This is what I would expect to see from my epoxy. We want to mix for three minutes to make sure everything's incorporated correctly. This will make sure that not only do we have the right ratio, the right mix, and it'll set up for us. So it takes some time, but we'll get there. Just about a minute now. As you're mixing, always try and scrape the sides of the container. Get anything that might have get hung up on the sides, we get that incorporated in there. And this definitely builds character as well as your muscles, so keep stirring. For all you people out there who are cooking, this is like making risotto. Keep stirring. You get a good risotto. I'm also practicing for Hell's Kitchen, so this is going to give good practice. Chef Ramsey will like my risotto when I make it. All right, so we're mixing at a minute 50. We got a little bit more to go. And once we're fully mixed, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll spread this out on a board, representing how we would apply it to a floor. We'll spread the material and we'll see how it all works together. So still nice, even, thin, what I would expect. Keep in mind, keep scraping those sides. And we'll see where we are with time. How about, we've got about another 30 seconds to go. Okay, we're, we're almost there. Ten seconds left. It was the excitement of the SpaceX rocket. Everybody sitting on the pad, waiting to be launched into space. Okay, we got about three minutes of mixing time. That's what we're looking for. Again, we look, look at that. We got good liquid consistency. I'm going to put that to the side and we'll get our board set up. Okay, so I've got a board. I've already actually prepared the surface. I cleaned it. Normal, typical of what we would do. I'm going to use a nine inch roller and I'm going to do a little ribbon and roll. I'll pour out some material on the board and then we'll see about spreading it. So just give me one second while I maneuver here. I'll just pour out a little. Nice and liquidy. Yep. And let's look at the time. What are we at time wise? 
We're about four minutes on this mix. So we got plenty of working time. Regular epoxy, we got 40 minutes of working time. I'm gonna saturate my roller. And you can see I'm spreading it out pretty easily. Very thin liquids, reasonable. It's consistency of epoxy that I would expect. Start to cover the board. So we got even material. I'll go ahead and put down a little bit more. Not too much. Drip, drip, drip. Let's put that there. Spread this to wherever it has not been first. Cover that board. And we could evenly cover the floor with this. So the consistency looks nice, very much what we would expect. It looks even, easy to roll. It's definitely not chunky. It's not crunchy. It's not smelling. It's not smoking. I like it. I like it a lot. So once the floor is completely covered, which we definitely are here, I could give a back roll for consistency. See. Plenty of working time. What's the time on our clock? Six We're at six minutes. And truthfully, the bucket's not smoking yet. The product is still thin liquid. I could even back roll it again the opposite way and it's not pulling or tacking up in any way. It's not making any weird noises. So I think we have a successful demo of 100% regular epoxy with polyaspartic white pigment. Okay? So good luck when you're doing your floors out there. <laughs>